are in standard 6. Until 5th standard, you were learning basic science as a subject. And now this year onwards, you are going to learn physics, chemistry and biology from your science textbook. Now, I am going to teach you a chapter in chemistry in your textbook, lesson 4 called Sorting Materials into Groups. Sorting? What is meant by sorting? Okay, let us start learning from the meaning of the lesson name itself. Sorting simply means taking out similar things or objects from a wide variety of different objects. From a wide variety of different objects, we are selecting or taking out similar objects to make their own groups. These groups may be identical in itself but will be different from other groups. There may be a reason for sorting so that they are different but the members are similar in their groups. Okay, what is a group? You are familiar with different kinds of groups nowadays like group of children or group of boys, group of girls group of adults, group of parents, teachers, doctors, fine. So, you know what uh, makes them unique by gender or by age group, by their profession. They are different but all the members are similar in their group. See, this is a definition for sorting. It is grouping similar objects to make their own group from a wide variety of choices and there may be one or another kind of reason to sort them to make their own group. See, this is a group what I mentioned earlier. It's a group of professional of any kind. This is a group of uh, working women or they came for education purpose or so, whatever. This is a group of students and a group of dancers. So, when uh, you come about uh, animals and birds or any other kind, see this is a group of same kind of animals, same kind of birds, butterflies and insects. So, they are similar in their group but their group is different from other groups. Here it is different, not sorted, but it is a group of full stuff. Okay, fine, it is group of people or animal or birds. But when it comes to objects, what is the reason for sorting them into different groups? For example, simply, if you have a different uh, colored balloons in a packet, you may sort them on the basis of color. Likewise, these buttons are similar in size and shape so that we can sort them by color. Here you can see the objects are sorted by their size, shapes and color. So sorting can be done by size, shape and color. And it can be done by another reasons too, by their uses. Of course, different objects are different in their uses, right? Yes, they are used in different purposes. Here, if you go to a textile shop, they may ask you for whom you are selecting the clothes. That is, a wide variety of clothes are arranged there in different patterns, different venues, so that they want to know what type of clothes you want for children or for adult, for men or women. Mm? So, gender-wise, they will arrange. See, this is not sorted. These bundles of clothes are not sorted. It is very difficult to select one of your choice. So that gender-wise, size-wise, they will sort for whom they are meant for. They can arrange them in different pattern according to your age, age group, gender and according to the material what kind of material you want in the same type of style, what type of material you want, they may ask. So there are many reasons to sort them. 
it is easy to take them back. That is the advantage of shopping here. Let's go to the next thing. See a supermarket or a shop. It's familiar for you. A different type of objects, different means variety of objects are arranged there in different shelves. See the fruits and vegetables in one section. Their groups and other provisions in different regions or different area. The preserved items and the cereals and pulses different in different places. See, this is for easy or convenience for you to select from a shop. Here you can see the books not in an order, not arranged. How can you select a book from this panel? And here it's arranged in a shelf in some kind of order. Maybe by the author's name or by the sub means subject wise. So it is easy for you to select one which you need. So this is an advantage of sorting that is convenience. Okay students, by now we have learnt sorting can be done by the size, shape, color or use of the objects. And the same thing we are doing at our home too. Because we may be buying different things from supermarkets or other shops. And coming back home, we are not keeping all these things together in the same place. We may sort them and take some to the kitchen. That is fruits, vegetables and other eatables to the kitchen. And some things to your study room like book, pencil, eraser, whatever academic uh, substances will be taken to your study room. So clothes will be taken to your room cupboards. And shoes, chapel, something if you bought. It may be arranged in shoe rack outside. Isn't it? See this? Things are arranged in different venues. For they are used in different regions. They are used in kitchen. This is used nearby kitchen. And this is in your bedroom. Clothes are arranged, shoes are arranged in separate places. So sorting gives you convenience to take back. Fine. See? Now, the lesson name was, you remember, sorting materials into groups. We are not arranging objects, but materials. So, before that, we should know what is meant by material. And we should know what is the difference between material and objects. Of course, you know objects. Around you, there may be many objects. Find them or choose some. And... Check what is it made of. Newspaper, uh, you are reading every day, it is made of paper. Your book, your textbook or notebook, made of paper. And the plate you are using will be made of but different materials. Did you notice it? You may have plastic or fiber plates, steel plates, glass plates or even paper plates at home. These are made of different materials. Fine. So, see, uh, if I say simply, materials are used to make objects and all the objects are made by one or other kind of materials. So, what is the difference? Materials is, are used to make objects and objects are made by materials. So, here we are going to get introduced to materials and objects. The definition is there and some examples like Paper, cloth, plastic, rubber, glass, metals, wool, sponge, wool, thermocol, so many materials are familiar to you. And see the objects. These materials are used to make objects and see here, sponge ball. Ball is the object, sponge is the material. Plastic scale or steel scale. Scale is the object, plastic is the material. Steel spoon. Spoon is the object and steel is the material. Jute bag, leather shoes, etc. Find as many objects that you can see around and find out which material is used to make them. Okay? Fine. Next. See, there is an activity given in your textbook. There, you can see you are asked to collect a number of objects and see 
materials used you have to find out this is only an example given by me the notice this and make a list of objects like this and find out what they are made of and this is another activity given in your textbook itself the reverse of it now in this you are collecting or selecting different materials for example paper plastic wood metal glass etc and finding out what all objects you can make by the same material by paper so many examples you can find out by plastic numerous examples will be there in your home metals wood and glass you can find out another materials too and select or find out the objects that can be made by those materials these activities are given in your textbook and you have to do it at home now we are continuing with some qualities of materials here is a question for you we will discuss this see on what basis do we choose a material for an object that is if i mention about a plate simply a plate you may ask me what kind of plate ma right yes because there may be paper plates disposable plastic plates fiber melamine plates porcelain plates or ceramic plates and glass plates which one we need why we have a same object with different materials they may be used in different occasions isn't it kind of boxes bottles etc see just simply water bottle you may have plastic bottles and steel bottles even glass bottles why the same object is made by different materials different materials have different qualities and which is suitable for somewhere and not suitable for some other place have you thought why do we have same objects made of different materials okay fine let us think about it um you have all of you have balls what material is used to make these balls sometimes it may be rubber balls or sponge ball or even plastic balls can you see a metallic ball in there of course not why you know metals are hard isn't it it is a quality of metal it is hard if you make a ball made of metal because ball uh, you you may kick the ball or you may throw the ball if a ball is made of metal you may feel pain that is why and one more thing uh, you need hard materials like wood or metal to make furniture you have to sit on chair you need a strong table and cot cupboard etc there you may use hard materials but for make it comfortable to sit that is for making cushions you will use only soft materials like cotton sponge or fiber right so materials are having different qualities and that is why we use them in different places for hard we will use hard materials like wood steel etc where you need a, a soft thing a sponge or cotton is used similarly your window is made of glass isn't it you can look through you can see uh, outside scenes scenery through that if it is made of wood or metal can you see what is going on outside through that no this is the quality of glass glass some glass may be transparent and other type of glasses are there we will learn it in this lesson itself some materials are soft hard and heavy some are smooth see our floor our floor is very smooth we don't want it to be rough so the material used will be like that and glass is used uh, in somewhere but that may not be good in some other places for example see the paper or wood easily catches fire so that we may not make cooking utensils by paper isn't it paper is good for making books but not good for making cooking vessels similarly cloth cloth is never used to make a bottle to hold water why because cloth cannot hold water that is why so some materials are good somewhere 
we are using the dress made of clothes it is comfortable but it is not good and somewhere similarly you can see your cooking pot it is made of metal and the handle will be made of wood and or plastic also because you can hold on the handle it will not be hot but the body of that will be hot to make it easy for cooking isn't it so we are utilizing the capacity or potential or the quality or the property of each material in uh, places where we need it that is we have requirements in somewhere so that we will make objects and the quality of the material should be suitable for making that object that is the only condition for this question see different materials have different qualities or properties for us there are good qualities uh, suitable for making something and which is not good for making some other i have given you a few examples and i have mentioned it here itself and from this we have to choose them wisely to make them utilize in a proper place a material is chosen for making an object only if the properties of that material is suitable to meet the purpose of the object that we are going to make though it is a lengthy sentence the meaning is very simple that the property of material should be matching with the purpose of the object otherwise we cannot make an object with the material clear once again i would like to summarize what all we have learned up to this portion that is we started from the meaning of sorting sorting is separating or taking out similar objects to make their own groups on the basis of some or other kind of similarities in them which is unique in their group and different from other groups reasons for sorting may be different age wise gender wise we can categorize according to the size shape and color wise we can sort them by their use also you can sort them and lastly or finally we learned by the type of material also we can sort them and afterwards we learned what is meant by a material what is the difference between a material and an object we did two activities to identify what is a material and what is an object and what kind of objects can be made by different materials and which all materials are used to make this large variety of objects around us and next we learned how do we choose a particular material to make an object there we went through different qualities or properties of a material that is paper is good for making books but it is not good for making cooking pots like that glass is transparent we can use it to make windows or doors but somewhere we need hard materials for furniture we select like metals or wood but somewhere we need soft materials and we should know which are the soft materials and we found out it is cotton or sponge we selected them for that and which is uh, heat resistant for cooking we are selecting metals so we went through different properties of materials and that is what we are going to do in the next session in the next session we will learn more about different properties of materials so until then bye